okay quick look through today's volume leaders a quick look through the markets as well it's a friday it's a very quiet morning the sun is shining we've got a gap down on some of these markets and we're, we're just attempting the uh the top of the uh, opening range on the uh, 250 uh the dax is through the opening range FTSE 100s just just shy and obviously you know small caps are the weakest pool of stocks they're struggling to regain the opening range moving through the markets let's just buzz through these markets and uh transports yes we've noted this this plow higher first is first you know we, we had a a bit of a i say a bit of a correction a down it was a solid down day in the us but markets consolidate through time or price try and find something bearish in in the industrials there you know we're just coiling at this moment in time what i see in front of me i do not have a crystal ball <laughs> we're in a base hopefully we're, we're coiling up look look at these uh you know the 200 day turning up below price action there so you know we're rising over those time periods s p obviously top right hand corner out of the base as i always say all the way down here would be normal in a correction markets consolidate through time or price yesterday might you might have thought it was going the price route well let's it's just a gap fill isn't it it's just dip back into this level here um What about the Nasdaq? Well, it's just a gap fill. You know, it's going the time route so far rather than the price route. The price route will be down to, to mean trend area. What about the Russell? Small caps, Grandad Russell. You know, he, he doesn't get out of his uh, rocking chair until uh, all markets are, are leaving without him, you know? So money has to flow into uh, the Russell. The more, a more sort of uh, lowering the risk, risk fountain, as we always say. And we're just bumping up and down above this little ledge in the right hand side of a big base. What about the DAX? More volatile trading market, you know, coming down towards the 200 day. Pretty normal area it's actually come into here, I would say. Looks like we've got a bit of a channel building on, on the DAX, doesn't it? But what about the FTSE 100? Well, you know, if the FTSE 100 goes below 7,400, you know, the world is going to end. That's that's all I've been reading from the UK traders over the last week or so. Important levels on the FTSE Yeah. You know, the FTSE 100 has always traded like this. The FTSE 100 does not rule the world. Um, you know, I'll, and I'll just go back to this. The FTSE 100 can take the lows out and then go back and take the highs out and then take the lows out again and then take the highs out and go on a run. So, you know, you know, it, it's 100 stocks, big blue chips, not really, uh, you know, loaded with oilers and all kinds of things. Let's move on to the 250. Yeah, we, you know, would have been better to see it hold this low on the 250 but it's not important what's important is it holds this low here and we're in a base and hopefully it can build something and start to trade a little bit better in the right hand side i do not have a crystal ball i've said exactly the same thing here <laughs> and uh, and this is what we did and off we went on another another bull market so obviously there's no bull market in uk stocks at the moment i'm 50 percent invested and uh, it's probably, you know, obviously it's a down week, but it's not volatile. It's not volatile in UK small cap growth, what I follow. It's just pretty normal action. Uh, if you're in U UK POS, you know, no reason to go up apart from a few hopes and dreams. Well, money, money tends to be really slow to flow into those real POS areas of the market, you know. But... Being in the AIM market, rephrase that, there are good stocks in the AIM market what, what have growth and uh, are doing okay. So, you know, this is what the uh, small caps look like. This is what the, I'll just put the uh, AIM all share in here. 
this is what this one has always looked like. It's absolutely, uh, you know, I was just measuring out actually how far that one had come off the tops. It's absolutely, you know, it's no judge for what, what world stock should be doing is what I'm trying to say. It's of, a, of no use whatsoever for me, even though I trade aim stocks because it's loaded, you know, out of the whole aim market, you're going to find 15 to 20 good aim stocks, aren't you? That That is, you know, at any one time what I've sort of got that good good growth what you know the pond eye fishing the growth stocks you're probably going to find 15 or 20 good ones in the aim market at any one point in time if you're lucky so yeah the actual market not important is it moving on so let's just quickly have a look through the volume leaders that's where we are big rally next week I know I said that last week <laughs> big rally next week uh, let's just see what's uh it is 10.48 we should have traded 33 percent i'll just put 30 percent in is that right 10.48 yeah i'll just put 29 percent in and give it a give it a bit of room and let's just go through these and just see what's hitting the volume leaders a uh, pullback area on Melrose. CCH, th this is a potential sort of pullback as well, isn't it? We've already noted this one. It's uh, bumbling around in a little area here. I don't know when the news is. It's got a bit today. Upgrades today. Um, have a read of that, obviously. Let me just go back and... Uh... Oh, that didn't work. see what else we can find in here uh you go so uh, obviously a placing i think on this is is doing acquisition potential stage one base first pullback not really one for me to buy on that that breakout was it you know obviously we talked about that the reasons why some breakouts are better than others um it's got gas in the tank it's just made a, a what looks like a pretty big acquisition it's come back into mean trend here. Go and have a look at it. That one is, it, it's it's a higher price one and a high float one. You go so I I like the the low floats. You know, small cap low low float would be the the ideal for me to put something in trend mode. So it's not really one I, I veer towards for that reason. Famous last words. McBride. What else is in here? Yeah, so not much to see. We're not expecting to see that much today. <coughs> see how the US comes online later. Okay. <laughs> 